During the distillation lab, a device called a refractometer will be used to determine the concentration of ethanol in a sample. The unit will measure the refractive index of a liquid sample, a material property that depicts how light bends or refracts when passing through the material. The refractive index will change with the concentration of ethanol in solution, meaning that the refractive index can, in turn, be used to estimate the concentration. Begin the startup by turning the refractometer on. Toggle the switch located on the right side of the unit. Next, check if the refractometer is configured correctly by pressing the menu button. On this screen, ensure that the setting under channel 1 is sucrose and the setting under mode is index TC. If the settings are not correct, navigate the menu with the arrow buttons and press select. Change the setting by pressing the arrow buttons, then press select again. When finished, press the menu button to return to the home screen. Lastly, flip open the prism and wipe it down with a dry Kim wipe. The prism will need to be cleaned like this after every sample you analyze. To analyze a sample, use a dropper or a similar instrument to transfer a few drops onto the prism. Ideally, there should be enough liquid present to wet the entire surface of the prism when closed. While looking into the microscope, turn the wheel on the right side of the device until you can see a sharp border with a lighter section on top and a darker section on the bottom. Using the larger wheel for fine tuning, line the border up with the crosshairs. If the image is blurry, you can twist the microscope lens to adjust the focus. Press the read button and wait for the refractometer to determine that the sample temperature is stable. When prompted, Double check that the border is still aligned with the crosshair, then press read. Wait for the refractometer to take the reading, then record the refractive index for the sample. Students will need to create their own standard curve comparing the volume fraction of ethanol to the refractive index. This will be vital for calculating the concentrations of samples during analysis. The data should resemble the polynomial curve shown on screen. But note that this chart is designed to determine the mass concentration of ethanol and not the volume fraction. Using two graduated cylinders, one for ethanol and the other for water, prepare 11 standardized solutions with ethanol volume fractions ranging from 0 to 1. The workstation should have plenty of 10 milliliter volumetric flasks available to store each solution. Measure and record the refractive index of each standard, following the steps discussed earlier in the video. When measuring the index of experimental samples, there is one additional step that needs to be followed. After the initial reading is finished for a sample, it will need to be slightly diluted with DI water, then be analyzed with the refractometer again. To explain why this is necessary, assume a sample has a refractive index of 1.362. According to this chart, there are two possible concentrations that will yield the same index value. When the sample is diluted and measured again, Let's suppose the index is now 1.363. The concentration of ethanol was reduced, which would mean the concentration is offset somewhere to the left. In this scenario, there is no concentration below 0.63 that corresponds to an index of 1.363. This means that our other possibility, 0.89, is the correct concentration for the sample. 